Welcome fans to USA Championship Wrestling, Casey Gold and Lucky P. Larson Esquire right here at ringside. And welcome back to my house. Well, fans, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get right to the ring. Lucky, here we go. The essentials, Jason Genesis and Hacho Hensley taking on the team of Brett Abel and Miles Polanke. You know, they may be essential to you, but they don't, they don't seem too essential to me. I don't really care for them. Well, you don't care for much of anybody. That's not true. There are a couple of people I care for. I said much of anybody. Well, there are a couple of people I care quite a bit for. Oh, Hacho ducking that clothesline and caught Brett Abel with that super kick. Laid him right out. Oh, yeah, that pretty much laid him more than right out. I think he's and dead. Oh, that springboard, and now Genesis naturally a two over on the one. top. A two on one. There was a tag there. I didn't see a tag. Well, that's because you're blind. I'm not blind. Man, I don't know how you see anything with your glasses on. I can see everything perfectly. I see, I see Jason Genesis getting thrown into the corner. Can you see that Twinkie over there? Where? And a bulldog. I didn't see that because I was looking for the darn Twinkie. Stop well, doing that. Stop doing what? One, two, ten. And Miles Plague in now with Jason Genesis. Is that the French explanation of his last name? French pronunciation? That's the way he pronounced it. Plonke? Yeah, well, I just call him Miles Plague. Oh. But he seems to get upset. Well, then. When I do. Well, see, that's your fault. You're, you're upset. What a forearm. And Jason Genesis. Those are closed fists. That's illegal. You know, they're known for cheating. Oh, what? cheap shot. Cheap shot. Tell me it wasn't. He just knocked the man yeah, off the apron. Cheap shot. He did nothing to and deserve a it. Double hip toss. Sure. A double hip toss. They're still in the ring. What is. Oh, obviously. Brad yeah. Abel attacking. Sure. He did, Honcho, well, they and deserved it. He attacked he him just for no drove reason. Jason Genesis right over the top rope. Well, Jason Genesis attacked him for no reason at all. He's minding his own business. Comes over there and hits him with a closed fist illegally to Derby. There's a tag, and now. I saw that tag. Red Abel in legally. Yep. And driving those feet into the chest of Hanjo Hensley. And there was and another now, legal tag. And now Plunk. And oh, look at that. He's mashing the grapes. That is certainly one way of expressing it. Well, he's the wine connoisseur. Oh. That's what he calls it, the mashing oh. of the grapes. And that back elbow caught Hancho right in the mouth. Better than catching him in the grapes. And only a two count. That's because Scott Stevens can't count quickly enough. See? Brett Abel knew. And now. Are you calling Brett Abel a liar? I'm not calling him anything, but there's a tag on there's Brett Abel tag. See, I saw from his too. partner. He's very plonk. Yeah, and you know, Brett is very able. <laughs> see what I did there? I, I see what you did there. Yeah. I'm surprised you can see with your glasses on. I can see everything. And now, just like right last time, I saw Hancho get thrown into the corner. Uh, he whipped squash. He whipped Hancho into the corner, and now going for that bulldog. Oh! And spiked him yes, right he on did. top of his head. I think he's dead. And a kick out. Well, I guess he's not dead. He's just stupid enough to not know he's dead. Well, they planted him right on that logo. That poor logo, I'm telling you. That logo takes oh, a boot. a kick. And a, he just kicked him in the ear. And then he fell on the logo. Honcho with that springboard moonsault. But Niles plunk in to break it up yeah. illegally. Well, you know, Jason started the illegality. They're just matching fire with fire, so to speak. They're fighting fire with fire? Yes. Oh. He said it's over. Is he right? Well, that was a right foot. Well, he, he's saying, wait a minute. He's looking like he's going back, but Honcho with that double springboard moonsault needs to make it over and make a tag to his partner, Jason Genesis. Yeah, but Brett's trying to make a tag, too. And oh, here's a tag on Genesis. Here comes Ernest Gallo. It's Niles Plonk. Oh, and that T-bone suplex. You know, he will sell no wine before it's time. Well, he comes to the ring with his glass here. Of wine. Of wine, and now up on top, there's a tag. One, two, three, Genesis. four, five, six, well, lucky. seven, eight, nine, That is essentially nine, over. 10, 11, 12, one, As Jason's two, standing in the middle of the three, ring. The, yeah. the winners of the match.
Jason Genesis, sure. Honcho Hitchley. Yeah, with a 13 second double team. The Essentials. They're, that's essentially cheating is what it is. Well, they're essentially the winners. Yeah, well, they essentially cheated. Welcome back to USA Championship Wrestling with your new and improved commentary team of Lucky P. Larson Esquire, along with 100% perfection, Matt Stone. Welcome, I, Matt. I can guarantee you we're not going to discuss, and I'm not going to put you down, so I am way better than what was just here. So Absolutely. Yes. And you have hair, too. Much better looking. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. That's a big Shona block there. We got AC Riley and Big Brandon White against SUV. The next Freebirds, the New Day, the next three man tag team. There's a big body slam, and you notice that Brandon White is in there cheating oh. with Alex Riley, two on one. And of course, Escobar is too blind to see it. Only worried about the count. Yep, Escobar, and he can't even count, which is really ironic. And there you see Brandon White grabbing uh, Justin oh. Savage by the hair. Oh my gosh. And he pulled him by the hair into the, into the corner there. Oh. Oh. Lord, I give him a break. Really? The man's in the corner. He's in the ropes. You should do something. Oh, there. Oh, did you see that Brandon tripped? And a beautiful flying clothesline by Justin Savage. He put his whole body in there. Yes, he did. And you know, speaking of Savage, did you know there used to be a wrestler named Randy Savage? I happen to be good friends with his brother, Randy Poffin. You know, I've heard of quite a bit of stories about that. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Oh, see, Brandon, Brandon is, you know, sitting there in trouble, and his partner is selfish, not thinking about him, thinking only about the glory, coming into the ring. See, yeah. and Escobar now having to do the job, and, and look at that, see? See, oh, yeah, and Gunner I, coming over here just no. pointing out to the referee that he needs to get Alex Riley back in his corner. I completely agree. Look, yeah. good clean tag good over here. Good clean tag, see? Beautiful teamwork. It's like a well-oiled machine. One, two. See, Chris Styles is out before the count of five. And was willing to get out. Absolutely. He didn't even get forced to come out. See, he's giving him friendly advice, telling him to give up, fight another day. Brandon looks winded. Justin Savage, oh! Using the ropes to his advantage. One, two, three, four, five. Look, look, yeah, yeah, see, yep, and again, you see Riley coming into the ring without a tag illegally. Uh-oh. What? Justin Savage trying to live up to his name, going to that top rope. The Kentucky Blue Blood. Brandon White has no idea where he is. Comes off the top rope. And another clothesline. Brandon should just stay down. One, two, and uh. had Escobar been able to count to three, that would have been three. And there's the Crippler crossface. See, it looked to me like he's tapping. It didn't I've already seen him tap. And see, that's brilliant. Gunner Lane pulling the ropes away from Brandon White so he can't reach and take the coward's way out. I think he's out. One, two, see, this is, Escobar's way of counting through without having to count the count. <laughs> I can see that. Yep. Uh, no, his hand His just... hand hit the, hit the mat, yeah, clearly. Escobar is just blind and stupid. Nope. Yeah, he's just giving an opportunity yep. to get yep. back. Yep. He's, just, he's just gonna get hurt even worse. Oh. Uh, see, Brandon fell backwards and ju he just happened to land, land just the right way. Justin makes the tag, and Stand. Brandon stupidly doesn't make the tag and stands there and waits for Chris Styles. Whoa! who slipped in Brandon's own sweat and fell. He was at least, yeah. at least eight foot. Yeah. Oh, look at that beautiful teamwork. Wow. Absolutely. See, AC Riley distracted in there illegally. He didn't make a tag. And Escobar doing yeah. nothing about it. Hold on. Nothing there, about it. There was no tag. No tag whatsoever. There's no tag. Escobar's completely lost control of this match. He has no idea who's leaving. He didn't tag. There's no, look at this. It's what? all four men in the ring. This is not a Texas Tornado match. Using fists, look, illegal fists. This is fist. just pathetic. So Gunner Lane trying to restore some order here. AC Riley, of course, takes his eye off the ball yet again. Brandon White distracted. And Super oh, there you go. Oh. Well, so much for AC Riley. Justin Savage, who is the legal man in the ring with Brandon White. Who's legal, who's legal for, uh, for SUV? Well, I believe it's Justin Savage since they're the ones that Whoa. And wait, now here comes Chris Styles. And you know what? Maybe they made a tag. Let's see. Chris Styles. Oh, there's a frog splash. One, two. I yeah, guess Chris yeah. Styles was leading. He was. He was. I remember now. And your winners, SUV. And your loser, Big Brandon White. And they did it in fashion. Absolutely beautifully. A well-oiled machine. There is one tough 
three-man tag team. Very impressive. Well done. Impressive. Very impressive. They should be the six-man champs. Here we go. Casey Gold and Matt Starr here at ringside. For Kim the Prince taking on Andy Mack. And uh, Andy Mack. Oh. Bit of a newcomer here at USA Championship Wrestling, Matt. You know, hey, I, I can see that, because locking up with uh, Cam here, he just got full for the Cooper. Well, Cam with a definite size advantage. Oh, wait, whoa, well, there you go. Andy Mack with a definite speed advantage. He's, he's good. Uh, he is oh, yeah. throwing those punches in. Not a lot of effect on Cam. Oh, but now <laughs> tackles him into the corner. Cam able to throw him off. Andy Mack missing. Whoa. Oh, that cross body out of the ropes. Uh-oh. Cam off. able to catch him. Oh, okay. But Andy Mack lands on his feet. That one foot drop kick to the chin. That was impressive. Andy Mack into the ropes. Oh, all the oh. way over and outside down to the floor. I don't, know if you've ever, I don't know if you've ever felt that, but well, that floor is very hard. Well, that was what I was just going to ask. Andy Mack went over. I think he landed a little bit on his feet because he's right back to the top. Oh, oh man. what a power Cam bomb. able to oh my catch him and drive him down with that power bomb. Oh, he, oh, man, what a power bomb that was. He put all of his effort and will into that. Cam the Prince saying one more time. Another one? This time he sits out with the man. But only a two count. Andy Mack able to kick out. <laughs> he slammed him so hard his shooting streak come and died. <laughs> and now Kim the Prince driving those forearms and oh. elbows right well, to the eye socket. That's nasty. That's getting behind Andy, yeah. Well, Andy Mack calls himself the star of the show. Star of the show. Mag and Daddy, that's what I like calling him. I seen that a little bit earlier. Had his little sunglasses on, you know, prancing through there. Well, Andy Mack with those boots, and now catches one for his trouble. You know, speaking of boots, the big boot that Cam just, look at the size of Cam the Prince's foot. I mean, that thing is huge. Look, just look at the feet. Well, Cam the Prince is no small man. Andy Mack ducks under. And that step up in Zaguri to the side of Cam the Prince hit him right in the ear. Andy Mack got some feet. Look at oh again. My. Oh. Cam hasn't gone down. Now Andy Mack. Oh, he messed up there. Looked like he was going for a DDT, but Cam able just to lift the man off the ground and drive him into the corner. Oh my gosh. Andy Mack, that double boot coming in, and this time he caught him with a drop kick out of the corner. Look at the speed. Oh, a missile drop kick. Wow. He drove. Huh? Rolls himself up. Trying to get over to make the cover. Oh, a mistake there. Oh, I think that's a mistake right there. Well, he just set him up, pulling the man closer. I think it's a mistake. Split oh. leg moonsault, but Cam oh. the Prince able to get his knees up into the ribs of Andy Mack. And now Cam the Prince. Oh, Rip cord clothesline, yeah. turn the man inside out. Call it a day. And there's a three count. Your winner, Cam the Prince. Spectacular. Right. Spectacular. Andy Mack showed a very, very good offense, though. Well, he showed a lot of fight. A lot of heart, yeah. A lot of fight, but you know what? At the end of the day, it just wasn't good enough. I'm sure that's not the last we've seen of Andy Mack. Ladies and gentlemen, and I do use that phrase loosely, really? since the Tennessee Yokels can't even send an announcer out here to introduce the sexiest man in wrestling today. I've got to do it myself, weighing in at 275 pounds from Russ Vegas, Arkansas. He is, I am, the lover boy, Matt Riviera. Stand up, KC. With Boyd Bradford and with Ron Ratcatcher. Now, if you would, 
I'd like everyone to stand, not for me. No, hang on, honey, you listen to me. I come from Arkansas, where the women do what I tell them the first time. Now, we got a young guy here from Mississippi that's about to be massacred. And the blood is not on my hands, oh no, no, no. It is on Burt Prentice's. It's on this fine official here, and it's on all of you. So if you would, I please stand up and please show some respect for his last match. Matt Riviera, sit down. What? I'm doing what the man asked. He said stand up. I stood up. I'm showing respect. See, he's even getting up. He's going to waste all his energy before this match even starts. Do you even know who this guy is? Not a clue. His name is DJ Menace. Well, his name is going to be DJ Mush in a moment. Well, I wouldn't underestimate him, even though he is not huge in stature. He is not huge in stature, but he, he does have energy. I'll give him that. He is huge in energy and huge in heart. And here we go, the lover boy, he, he, Matt Riviera. And he's wiggling around the ring. Taking on DJ Menace. Look at here tonight. We go and wobble. Well, look you know, at Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. You should know. I know. Hey. I used to play with Weebles when I was a kid. What is? He's weebling and he's wobbling. Well, the lover boy showing his own and little dance there. Now he's kind of shimmying. And I'll tell you this, he's better than gravy. I'll give him that. Well. He is way faster than Gravy, I can guarantee you. Dude, I'm faster than Gravy. I don't know about that. I do. Two, three. The lower oh, boy. there you go. With That'll that, shut him down. With that open hand slap to the, to the face. And now the lover boy. Hey, he's in the corner. To hide. Hey, get him out of the ropes. The lover boy tries to run and hide from DJ Menace. So basically what you're saying is he's a menace to society? Now that would be you. Oh. He's DJ Menace to Society. He's a menace to DJ. Well, yeah, especially if he was a DJ. Then he would be DJ Menace, which is his name. So he would be DJ DJ. Oh, and the lover boy just missed. Hey. And DJ Menace. Hey, that's very disrespectful. Well, it's, you know, disrespect to disrespect. Yeah. It's lover disrespect boy. to disrespect. Lover boy disrespected him with that open hand slap. He, he asked just, him for it. You should have heard what he said about Matt's mama. And I'm sure he didn't say anything about his mother. Uh -oh. uh -oh. The lover boy. Down, right on the logo. Right dead center of the logo. That poor logo, I'm telling you. And look out. Up and down One onto the logo. Time. One more time with that body slam. Right onto the logo. And the lover boy. Oh, just driving the man back into the corner. Oh, I think he caved in his chest. Yeah. Oh, I think he kept it in again. If he didn't keep it in the first time, he did on the second one. Yes. And the lover boy, oh, that double dig. underhook. Oh, oh, right onto the logo. Suplex, dead center of the ring. Right onto the logo. And DJ Menace, a little worse for wear there. A lucky. little worse for wear. That's like saying you're a little bald. And like saying you're a little ugly. Ask Missy Hyatt. Uh, she said you were ugly. I, I don't right think there. so. And the lower up. boy up on top Look of Look at that head. strength. Look at that strength. Oh, I'm telling DJ, you, the ultimate warrior has nothing on him. Oh, and that oh. backbreaker. Oh, that was beautiful. Look right at that. across the knee. Look at that. How impressive is Matt Riviera, Matt, Matt, Matt Riviera? He is big. He is strong. He is Matt Riviera, Matt, Matt, Matt Riviera. He is the lover boy. And now hooks up. him in. Oh, oh, the man right down Casey, the I bet you don't know what that one was called. That one was called the Indecent Proposal. I know that because he told me personally. Well, now he's locked in on that shoulder. And Matt Riviera, all well, that pressure. He's smart and say yes. Say this kid's too stupid. Give up, fight another day. He's been paying attention to you too much. Well, then he would know what to do. He wouldn't be in this position. Yeah, you said he was too stupid. That's, yeah, that's only, right, because he's not listening to me. Only stupid people listen to me. No. You know, I was thought I was wrong once, but I made a mistake. Yeah. Yep. 
Always be sincere, KC, even if you don't mean it. That directly from Lucky P. Larson. Yep. And remember, if your parents didn't have any children, you probably won't either. DJ Minutes to society. With those right hands to the midsection of the lover boy. And the lover boy missing the clothesline. Well, that was oh, different. A one footed drop kick. Yes. After and a break dancing move. Two of them. Oh, that was a good little nip up. Look well, at this guy. He's, look out. He's quicker than a hiccup. And he's quicker than your vocabulary. That's, that's for sure. true. And there's a cross body. Lands right on the lover boy's yeah, head. Yeah, but he didn't have enough body mass to keep him down. And now. Oh, and Ron Ratcatcher on the outside. I didn't see anything. Hooked the man's foot. No, he did not. He did. Walked right that by Grant. DJ Grant. tried to kick Ratcatcher and he slipped. And Loverboy uh, takes him up. Right over the logo. Power bomb. One, two. Oh, he kicked out. What intestinal fortitude by this man. The Loverboy picking the man up. No, he kicked out with authority. He picked him up. And now, up the, the lock of shame. The lock of shame. Oh, and he's given up. There's the tap out. And your winner of this match here on USA Championship Wrestling, the lover boy, Matt Riviera. All right, get up now, KC, and applaud the man. He deserves it. That was a hard fought battle.